the Miami Dolphins were impressive against the Panthers on Sunday. Which players did the most to turn heads against Cam Newton and company? After starting the season by winning just one of their first eight games, the Miami Dolphins have officially begun to turn things around. Coming into Sunday, the team had won three straight and found themselves smack dab in the middle of the soft spot on their schedule. The victory against the Carolina Panthers was easily the most complete game that the Dolphins have played all year, and there is plenty of praise to go around. Every unit made plays. The defense was outstanding, allowing just 10 points while sacking Carolina quarterbacks five times. The secondary had three interceptions, including yet another for Xavier Howard. They also finished with 10 defended passes. The special teams set the tone early in the game with a blocked punt that resulted in the first touchdown of the game, and Jason Sanders was two halves on field goals. The offense put up a respectable performance, with 230 passing yards and the team's first 100-plus yard rushing performance on the season. It may be too little too late, but an optimist can't help but notice that the Dolphins' playoff chances have increased from 2% to 9% over the last two weeks. But it is safe to say that the team has started to turn the corner, despite having plenty of work to do. There are guys who are starting to stack together one good game after another, and some of the youngest players on the roster have been the most impactful during the current four-game winning streak. So who were the top performers for the Miami Dolphins in their impressive win against Cam Newton and the Panthers? There are plenty to choose from, but here are our three. Jalen Phillips. Sunday's game was a coming-out party for Jalen Phillips. The rookie edge rusher came into the game against the Panthers with 3.5 career sacks, and he nearly doubled his total in Miami victory. Between Cam Newton and P.J. Walker, Phillips was able to get to the quarterback three times. His first takedown didn't come until nearly the end of the third quarter when he got to Newton for a 14-yard loss that nearly resulted in a safety. During the fourth quarter, Phillips got to Walker twice to give him his career-high sack total. He added three solo tackles, a pass defended, and hit the quarterback a total of four times. Jalen Phillips has been making his presence felt more and more with each week that passes. During the early part of the season, you'd have to find him on the field to watch him play. Now, his impact is being felt not only on the stat sheet, but ultimately in the win column as a part of this resurging Dolphins defense. The blitzes and defensive play calling have been a huge positive for Miami, and Phillips certainly figures to be a big part of it going forward. Jalen Waddell Jalen Waddell has been one of the top-performing wide receivers this season. Not only does he lead all rookies in catches, but he is in the top five in the entire league, and his impressive showing on Sunday will only help boost his numbers and rankings. Quarterback Tua Tungavailoa has continued to build a familiarity with Waddle, and it has not been on display more than it was against the Panthers. Tungavailoa targeted his former Alabama teammate 10 times, resulting in 9 catches for 137 yards and a touchdown in a career game for Waddle. The connection was the most reliable one on the day for the Miami Dolphins and a big reason for the team's success. A third of all of Tungavailoa completions ended up in Waddle's hands, including the quarterback's only scoring throw. The duo also connected for a 57-yard gain that would set up the touchdown that ultimately put the game out of reach. The rookie's 137 yards is easily his career high, 54 more than his previous best. As the Dolphins' offense is beginning to hit some sort of stride, it is becoming apparent that Miami has big usage plans for Waddle not only now but in the future as well. Philip Lindsay. There were a handful of guys that were deserving of the final spot on our list of most impressive performances in Sunday's game. The quarterback play was solid and continued its weekly improvement, and Javon Holland had his second interception of the season against Cam Newton. But newly acquired running back Philip Lindsay showed certain attributes that could be of great benefit to the Dolphins' offense. A struggling running game has been a huge reason for concern for the Dolphins, and much of the blame lies with the offensive line and their inability to create lanes and push. But Lindsay's tough running style could help Miami mask some of the deficiencies that their front five have. He was able to make something out of nothing on multiple occasions and finished with a respectable 42 rushing yards on limited carries. Lindsay's most impressive play came in pass protection, in which he made up for a Liam Eikenberg missed block saving Tungavailoa from a sure sack. It instead ended up being the Dolphins' longest play of the game. 
Of any of the regular starters on the Dolphins' offense, Miles Gaskin may be the one most susceptible to losing his starting job. If Miami is able to find a player that helps their abysmal running game, then don't be surprised to see a new starter in the backfield within the next couple of weeks.